It's the life of a rodeo bullfighter, but lived on Frank Newsom's terms. I don't have to worry if something was to happen to me, whether it was on the way here or while I'm here. Our medical team, they've put me back together so many times over the years. But then decides to roll over Frank Newsom. The tough rescuer nicknamed Fearless Frank has learned to manage his deepest fears. I know the confidence I have in my savior and my salvation is key to that. Just knowing that Jesus, he's got this, you know, he's got me. Between competitions in the arena, Frank reflects on his role. We're a worker, we're a servant, you know, we're a protector. Our job is to keep the guys safe. It's about knowing if you got your job done or not, and knowing about your teammates, the guy next to you, if, if everybody's working together. When Ryder is ready, Frank's bullseye is clear. The bull is your main focus point. Where he's going to go, his speed, his momentum. You see their eyes, you see if they're looking around. It's kind of an intensity there that you can feel, you know, anticipating what they're doing. You're taking control or, or looking for that control over the bull, but we're seeing the rider body language of when he's gonna come off and where he's gonna land. Frank Newsom has to come in and be the blocker to make sure Junio doesn't get run over. I grew up around cattle, working with my dad, working on different ranches. We would buck bulls after we worked, and some of the older guys trying to teach us how to ride bulls. And we would take turns saving each other, and man, I just knew that was my spot. Being an overwhelming feeling, you know, that man, I'm gonna devote my life to this. This is, this is me right here. Frank's career took off quickly, winning both national and world finals in just his second professional season. There was so much more freedom in what we do as rodeoing and bull riding than I was ever used to growing up. I was good at what I did, so I, I, I made money. And with it came distraction. Probably way immature for the success I was getting as far as how to handle that, I know I was. I wanted to be the best, but then bad habits just kept creeping in and getting bigger and bigger and bigger. The rodeo's traveling pace and the bullfighter's pain led to Frank's growing substance abuse and addiction. Once I allowed them drugs into my life, Things just got way wilder and you're not sleeping, but you're going to all these bull ridings and rodeos and you're getting your body beat up, you're drinking more. I just couldn't see in the moment how my addiction was tearing my life apart. And you're still having success. I got this, I can handle this, you know? Until Frank's private struggle caught up with him. You know, I got pulled over, I was way out of hand, driving way too fast. Just just being really reckless, getting thrown in jail, and having to face that and having the consequences come down on me. You know, I needed that. Instead of competing in the Bull Riders 2000 finals, Frank was alone in jail. I owed people money. I owed time, you know, for laws I broke. I had broken relationships. All the things that I grew up knowing that were important, man, I trashed them due to sin, just letting sin control me. Hitting rock bottom, it was Frank's turn to be rescued. So he prayed. And I was just like, this is reality. How did it get like this? The first step of truly wanting Jesus into my life, you know, it wasn't no more about getting out of trouble. Lord, I need you. I need you, Lord. I've, I've made a mess of things. And he knew that, and he was there. After losing his career, Frank rebuilt his reputation. I had to go back to the very bottom and work my way back up in the arena as a bullfighter, but also in life, and gain trust day by day with people. Since 2005, Fearless Frank has restored his place among the bullfighting greats as a well-respected competitor and mentor. My motivation is not just about me doing my profession, but it's like, man, if I can save this guy's life, maybe that's one more day that gives him an opportunity to be saved, that he could spend eternity in heaven. He can go home to his wife and kids and, and lead them in a good direction. Trust the Lord right now without having to hit rock bottom. Trust him right now. Let him be your master. Let him be who he is.